What's up YouTube? This is Tian bringing you a new video in the Atlas Strategy Series. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what my plans are for 3.4 Delve Leak. So at the time of me posting this video, it's right after some pretty exciting announcements for the Atlas, but then before the patch notes have been released. So there's some stuff that we don't know yet, but there is some stuff we do know, and let's get right into that. So the Xana quest line is going to be better than ever. Uh, I always do the Xana quest line anyways in order to get that Elder Orb, but it's even better to do so. You're going to get some free maps after you complete some of her objectives. Um, I recommend picking a map that you don't have already, throw an Alc Orb on it, go do that map, and it'll help you with your Atlas completion bonus. I think that's pretty obvious, but the not so obvious thing is this new concept called a Shaper's Stronghold. And so what this Shaper Stronghold is, it's a more powerful Shaper influence that cannot be taken by the Elder naturally, which might be important later. But um, what's important right now is that we get a whole bunch of extra rewards for doing it. We get uh, things like chisels, sextants, unique items, including old restricted league uniques, and uh, various Shaper rare items. So how is it going to work? Well, basically there's going to be four Shaper Strongholds in yellow tier maps right away. And once you clear those, four Shaper Strongholds will appear in red maps. Once you clear those, any time that Shaper Influence spawns after that, you might have a chance that it becomes a Shaper Stronghold. What does this mean for us? Well, before when we were doing our Elder Square mechanic and we were kind of ping-ponging between Shaper and Elder Influence, that becomes even better because now when we clear that Elder Influence and it becomes Shaper, it has a chance to be a Stronghold. And that Stronghold will contain additional items and I think it would be really valuable to do that. If it turns out it's not valuable to do the Stronghold, we could do something like setting up an Elder Square in one area, um, having a Shaper Stronghold in another area, and that map in between will always be either sh Shaper or Elder. Um, so it really just depends on how good these Strongholds are. I have a feeling they're going to be very good and that we're going to want to run these Shaper Strongholds a lot. Um, but we don't know yet. Speaking of stuff that we don't know, I don't know which maps are going to be the best maps. You know, there could be changes to density and layout, could be changes to divination card locations. Speaking of divination cards, there could be there are these new divination cards like this one for the bestiary item, this one for like a corrupted gem, uh, deafening essences, elder chateau maps, a lot of good new divination cards. And again, it could get mixed up on on where they are. Speaking of stuff that we don't know, we also don't know how the delve mechanic will work. You know, these areas of soul fight that are sitting out there are they going to be like shrines where they're surrounded by mobs? Or is it going to be more like standard where there are no additional mobs in the map and we're going to have a hard time sustaining? And speaking of sustaining, I wanted to just talk to you guys about the best ways to sustain maps. Um, you know, here are the things that affect map drops. Increased item quantity on your map and then having additional monsters in your map via pack size or via sextants, things like that. Um, so I've already spoke in the past about the power of chisels, alks, and vowels. I think it's important to chisel and alk and value your maps, as well as put some sextants on there for additional mobs. Um, but there are some things I haven't talked about in the past, which are using sacrifice fragments and prophecies. And depending on how good or bad Delve League is for map sustain, we might want to use some of those. So what do these sac frags do? Well, when we put them in and then we activate our map device, uh, each of these adds five additional quantity to the map, which is pretty valuable. You can think of them like using a chisel on the map. Um, some prophecies that are interesting. I have two right here, one littered with drowned, another one with large packs of sea witches. There's like plague of frogs, plague of rats, um, tempests. You know, there's all kinds of prophecies that can add mobs to the map, as well as all kinds of sextants that can add mobs to the map. Um, and then adding quality to the map, uh, quality and quantity to the map by either chiseling, alking, and valing, adding more mods to the map, or adding these uh, sacrifice fragments. So those are basically the best ways to uh, sustain maps. Increased item quantity on your player does not affect your map drops. Um, so best of luck sustaining in 3.4 Delve League. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to see which maps we end up choosing in 3.4 Delve League, as well as um, follow my journey along on Twitch in terms of uh, how we're going to get started when the Delve League starts. I'll be playing on softcore trade league and i'm gonna hopefully be sustaining maps and uh, figuring out which ones are the best ones anyways best of luck in delve hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you guys in the next one